Hey everyone, it's Darren Benton with Performance Motor Coaches. I want to do a little video today of a in-stock Valencia. I guess technically it's not in stock because it's not quite in Texas. Uh, we picked it up from the factory. Uh, we're going to have it transported to Texas, but wanted to get some quick videos and some pictures of it, get it up on the website. It's kind of rare for us to have an in-stock coach, so this unit is available. We've done a few of the bunkhouse, basically they call it a 38VB for the bunk bed. Uh, a few of these in white. We've done some really cool blackout packages. So if you wanted to see what those take a look like, give us a shout. We'll be happy to send you pictures. And I think we did a final video of one of them with the complete blackout package. So this is a 2024 Valencia 38 BB. It is on the S2 RV Plus chassis. So you can tell the Plus chassis by slightly different grill right here and a little bit different intake here and then the dash we'll get to the dash on the inside so inside really outside really can't tell too much difference this does have the upgraded led headlights started doing those a few years ago and pre pretty much all the renegade product night day difference from a regular incandescent bulb uh, does a phenomenal job basically similar to the cars and trucks you drive today very very bright headlight additionally you can tell it's a s2 instead of an m2 because of the wheels. So the little triangle looking basically will bring you back to the more the Freightliner uh, RV side. So the S2 is a specific built RV chassis for the RV industry. Many of the same components are shared with the M2, but essentially with the S2, you get a pre-cut cab on the back. You get a 100 gallon fuel tank rearwards of the axle. You get a 3000 series Allison transmission and a 360 horse Cummins ISB 6.7 liter motor. This is a great coach for somebody that's coming out of a gas unit or a family for their first time unit. We obviously sell uh, Valencia's to all walks of life, but uh, for people that are kind of getting into RV, this is a good step to get into the Renegade product line. And of course, the Valencia is kind of their, uh, their beginning price point in their Super C line. So this is the Tundra, which is basically an all white uh, there again, like I said, we can go through and change all this out to black. We've done powder coated bumpers, we've done bumper replacements, we've done kind of everything underneath the sun. So it does have the Aqua Go, which is essentially a uh, tankless water heater system, very easy to take and winterize as well. Outdoor TV with sound bar. You don't get the automatic uh, locking baggage doors until you, get, until you get up to the Verona LE. So decent sized compartments. There again, uh, you don't get the line compartments so you get up to the XL, but we actually have a LE coming for a customer. We basically made it almost like uh, an Explorer. So we did bed line, but on the Valencia Verona, it will be a carpeted compartments. This has not been adjusted. We adjust this once we get back to the factory and uh, or at the dealership, we like to have them basically perfectly fall and close like that. So pretty simple, Gerard side mounted awning there, furnace here. So this is the combined storage compartment. See this, isn't that goofy? Uh, because it does have propane on board, you do have a little port here to be able to do an outdoor grill, fireplace, something like that. That will come uh, basically a LP quick disconnect. The nice thing about the Valencia with the propane, very simplistic. A lot less things to break, a lot less potential issues. Two-piece rear cap. They basically did a facelift on the Valencia for 2023. I don't see anything for 2025 really changing, uh, so you don't have to worry about buying an old coach. 12,000 pound capacity hitch. I've seen guys talk about putting 20,000 pound capacity hitches on this. I see um, a certain brand comes factory with a 20,000 pound hitch. If you're pulling 20,000 pounds, you don't need a Valencia. You need a Lisa Verona. So I said it. So transfer switch there. There's a smart transfer switch that'll let you know uh, basically kind of what amp load and then if you other things crossed up so it kind of works as a surge protector a lot of people will still use an auxiliary surge protector 
in conjunction with that. 36 foot short cord there to the right. 8K gin, which will be standard all the way from the Veracruz to the Verona LE. Actually, I take that back, all the way to the Explore. So very common generator, parts readily available. Diesel fuel fill, get that off the front axle. So the wet bays are all very, very similar all the way throughout the product line. It will have the hose reel standard. There is not a heat, uh, heat register within that, but there again, for people that are really cold environments, if you want a ceramic heater in there, we can do basically anything at the dealership wise. 75 gray, 75 black, it does not have a macerator system. There again, we can easily install it. Uh, it does have the, um, I just blanked out, C level, C level, C level monitoring system. I want to call it something different every time. C level. Uh, much, much more accurate reading system as far as the tanks. You don't get the old school, you know, 33, 60 full. You don't really know what the heck's going on. So much more accurate system. Propane tank here. Nothing too wild and crazy. Does have the lithium on board. So there's um, three 100 amp hour lithium batteries there. If a person wanted to be able to add additional batteries, we could do it, just not in that compartment right there. Uh, chassis batteries there on the left. You do have uh, a Victron shunt to be able to give you the SATA charge. Uh, they do a good job integrating the lithiums in the coach. Def tank up front. So if you're looking at that dash right there, the cool part about it, um, that looks so much like a Cascadia. So that is the plus. So uh, interior wise, very easy to change, or very easy to tell the difference between the regular uh, S2 or M2 and then the plus. The plus being new, basically integrated steering wheel, uh, a lot more technology within the cab truck itself. Very easy to steer. The M2s and the S2s have a 55 degree wheel cut. So I can darn, in fact, when we came, first came in this parking lot, you see our Jeep back there and our dogs waiting on us. Uh, when we first came in there, I was able to take and do a U-turn. Wouldn't be able to do that at a big Cascadia. So jumping board. I'm gonna take my shoes off. I know my camera person is not because her feet are cold. She told me so. It's a nice entry into the cab here. This does slide back and forth. You've got some little doodads right here to be able to lock in place. That is power up top there. The seats, forget if the Valencia seats turn around. I don't think they do, but they might. Oh, turning pedestals. Well, the only bad thing about turning pedestals is they're a little tall. So if you're really, really short legged, um, you might consider putting some phone books down there on the floor for your, for your feet to touch because they, they do sit a little bit higher with the uh, with the turning pedestals. So we optioned it with the couch just for the family idea is, you know, be able to put a lot of people, a lot of sleeping. So this does flip over, but you can see everything is readily accessible, easy to get to. I can cook while I'm driving down the road if I need to. Uh, I can get to my refrigerator, I can get to my washer dryer. I can get in the full bath, I can get the bunk beds. Furnace is going, so I can get all the way in the bunk bed, lay down the bunk bed, and the upper portion of the bunk bed, can you check that out, is removable. So you could take that out if you need to be able to put your baby giraffes in there. Convertible dinette, it's a little dude underneath there, pushes down, and there the little filler cushions are on each side of your dinette underneath. Hydraulic slide here. We know it's slightly different hydraulic mechanism. Doesn't rock it out like the, uh, like the Explorers and up. Still a little bit faster than electric slide, but it does not have the rocket ship mechanism or that really, really fast hydraulic pump. So 
bore you with this. I I hate to say it, but I really think the, the, the decor is a little bit better in the Valencia than the Verona. <clears throat> One thing I like, this big giant picture window here. I'm a seeing outside type of guy. I just think that's really nice to be able to see out that window, have a large window in that standard. That's not an option. There's a lot of stuff there in the background. That's the only reason why I was taking, uh, but they match this window up on the side. We'll leave that open for a little bit of light. Just, it kind of gives you just a really open feel. Additionally, I think some of the colors also like the upholstery look better in the Valencia than the Verona. I don't think there'll be any real change, but that's my, just one guy's opinion here. So. This was an upgrade I started to do right about a year ago. Um, just kind of extend the kitchen a little bit. Flop that down. All double pane windows, which I think it started in 23. Tile backsplash. It's a single basin sink here. So these are all LG solid surface. Burner cooktop. All high grade cabinets at the risk of making you want to wait for a 2025. Been told the 2025s, all 2025s will have dovetail, dovetail drawers, dovetail drawers. Simple residential Samsung fridge with ice maker and water valve is up there. For people that want to know where your water valve is, on most of these it's right in there. Uh, once you get to the higher line stuff, they'll generally put it in with the washer dryer valve. But if you know, you know. I'm gonna turn this furnace off because it's loud. It's warm in here now. Stacked washer dryer, that is an option. There again, we have gone through for people and said, hey, I don't want, I don't, I don't, I don't want to take up that much room. We don't use the washer dryer. I want to be able to put my entire uniform, my band uniform in there. And I could take all that out and take and put, whether it's convertible shelving, whether it's a uh, clothes rod, we could take and do anything. We could also do a combo unit that would be wash up dryer all in one. There again, <coughs> preference. So you saw this, I'm going to go ahead and open this up and bore you guys for about a second. So all Firefly operating system, very easy to use. It's not one of these where you have to get your uh, eight year old nephew to be able to operate everything. This is a very simple operating system. Turn the air conditioner, run slides, uh, run awnings, everything. And that is all backed up by an app on your phone. So 3,000 watt power inverter on board, runs everything but your air conditioners. Like I talked earlier, this is removable right here if you need to be able to, uh, there again, we've, we've done a uh, big hanging closet. Uh, we can order a piece that goes all the way over this and makes it look like a really massive closet. Instead of bunk beds, there's a lot of different things we could do. So fun fact, fun fact, kids, watch this. If you don't hear the click, it's not right. You must click it. If you don't hear the click, we see this all the time. We see people with damage issues. Click. Don't forget to click. So at 23, they brought this, uh, the kind of a, I, I, I would say kind of upgraded shower. It just looks a little bit higher in the classier than just a standard fiberglass. So, you know, it, it gives me the feel that I'm in the ocean. I don't know what it is, but just, I feel I like it a lot better. I would rather have a tile shower, but I get at this price point. You can't simply put a tile shower in this guy, but it looks a lot better than most RV showers with the little texture on the back. Solid surface here. There again, most of the units in this price category will have a lot of paper wrap stuff. It'll have a lot of... It'll look like solid surface, but the, it's just like a, it's like a vacuum formed. It'll be uh, like particle board on the backside. So make sure you're looking at everything. 
so decent amount of room for the coach. Really nice door. Stout door. All the valences are just dual slides, so uh, basically you'll have a closet slide. Um, on this particular floor plan, the other floor plan will be a bed slide, kind of depending upon how it is. So this has been combo slide with a door, uh, a pocket door that goes over the top. So decent sized cabinetry here, 32 inch TV, and um, so nice size drawer set underneath the bed. I'll take and open up this guy so you can see underneath the bed. So whenever they do the bunkhouse, because they don't do this on a slide, you'll have this big compartment right here. You got dual 75 gallon water tanks there and your water pump. <clears throat> So this is a 72 inch wide mattress, 75 long. For people that are really tall, we've ordered a flip over mattress to be able to accommodate if you're a little bit taller. So if your feet don't hang off the edge. So decent size storage in all of those guys. And there is a one pin plug in the back of all of those. <clears throat> you have a master control right here. So I can turn my ceiling light on and off. I think I can kind of master. I'm going to talk to him about doing a master. I prefer having a master right there. You can do it on your app, but I would rather be able to get up at night, be, hit one button. So that's a conversation we're going to have to have all on, all off from right there. It's just there again for somebody that sleeps in an RV sometimes. So we'll take a flip flop around. I want to show you the pocket doors here. Little safety strap. And there's a magnet back behind. This, I guess I could. The only thing that's a little bit. I wish they could come up with some just like a little block of wood or something. Same type deal on this door. It's not a strap, but. Ugh. Notice on the XL, they were doing a little mechanism, a little push, push the mechanism down, it's a little pin. I wish they would bring that all the way across the board. I don't know cost-wise, but still does a decent job. We had, we've had a, a few magnets come off internally. It's not a big deal for us. We can pull a door off in a second or two, but the average consumer, they get a little freaked out about that. But um, all in all, the, they've done a great job with the decor group and all the Valencias. Um, this is, you know, this is the Cape Cod stain. The photos, if you see, if you're if you're looking at it online, the photos going to look a lot more tannish. I would say this is more creamish um, in real life. So kind of depending upon the light, I believe in the video it probably shows a lot truer than what you would see on pictures online. So kind of keep that in mind. And if you ever need samples, we can send you a sample. I've always got a ton of that stuff laying around. Be able to send you a sample, like a little sample board, or something like that. So you do have. Firefly control front and rear here, so you didn't have to go all the way to the front if you needed to operate some of this stuff without going to your app on your phone. So some really good upgrades I've done in the last few years. Um, it's nice to be able to go through them to be able to see some things, to be able to kind of relay some of the information back to factory on, hey, why are we doing this? But the number one thing I can take from this, master all on, all off. Whenever I do this, I want it to be just like this. Master on. So anyway, we'll relay that information. Coach is available in stock, pmcrv.com, performance motor coaches in Wolford, Texas. Definitely give you a better buying experience than anybody in the country. I'm confident of it, I'm confident in my team there at the dealership. We really care about what people need and want. Uh, come change your RV buying experience. I said sound like a real big salesman, don't I? Change your RV buying experience. Come check us out. Appreciate you guys watching the video with us. Thank you.